This video is about finding the derivatives of exponential functions. We've already seen that the derivative of the exponential function e to the x is just itself, e to the x. But what's the derivative of an exponential function with a different base, like 5 to the x? One way to find the derivative of an exponential function like 5 to the x is to write 5 as e to a power. So 5 is the same thing as e to the ln 5, where ln is the natural log or the log base e. This makes sense because ln 5, which is the same thing as log base e of 5, means the power that we raise e to to get 5. So now if we take e to the ln 5, that means we raise e to the power that we raise e to to get 5. Well, when you raise e to that power, you get 5. All right. If 5 is the same thing as e to the ln 5, then that means if we take 5 to the x, that's the same thing as e to the ln 5 raised to the x power. By properties of exponents, when I take a power to a power, I multiply the exponents. So this can be written as e to the ln 5 times x. Now I want to take the derivative with respect to x of 5 to the x. So by my rewriting trick, that's the same thing as taking the derivative with respect to x of e to the ln 5 times x. Now we know how to calculate this using the chain rule. We can think of e to the power as our outside function and ln 5 times x as our inside function. So now by the chain rule, I take the derivative of the outside function, e to the power, so that just gives me e to the power, evaluated on the inside function, so I stick ln 5 times x as my inside function, and by the chain rule I multiply that by the derivative of the inside function, ln 5 times x. Well, ln 5 is a constant, so let me copy over the first part. The derivative of a constant times x is just the constant. Let me rewrite this a little bit. So e to the ln 5 times x is the same thing as e to the ln 5 to the x power, just like before, because the exponent rules say when I take a power to a power, I multiply the exponent. And remember, e to the ln 5 is just a fancy way of writing 5. So I've got 5 to the x times ln 5 as the derivative with respect to x of 5 to the x. This same argument works not just for a base 5 exponential function, but for any base exponential function. So if I take the derivative with respect to x of a to the x for any number a, I'm going to get a to the x times ln a. Now you might be wondering, what if I use the same rule on our old favorite, e to the x? So our base here is e. That means I should get e to the x times ln e. Wait a sec. ln e, that's log base e of e. That's asking what power do I raise e to to get e? Well, the answer there is 1. And so the derivative with respect to x of e to the x by this new rule we have is e to the x. It agrees with our old rule. I want to draw your attention to the difference between two expressions. In the first expression, d dx of a to the x, the variable that we're taking the derivative with respect to is in the exponent. So for this exponential function, we use the derivative rule that we just found, d dx of a to the x is a to the x times ln a. On the other hand, if we take the respect to x of x to the a, where the variable x that we're taking the derivative with respect to is in the base, then we don't need this exponential rule. In fact, it doesn't even apply. All that we have here is the power rule, right? d dx of x cubed would be 3x squared. d dx of x to the seventh would be 7x to the sixth. And in general, d dx of x to the a is just a times x to the a minus 1 by the power rule. So it's important to pay attention to where the variable is when you're taking a derivative. In this video, we found that the derivative with respect to x of 5 to the x is given by ln 5 times 5 to the x. And in general, 
the derivative of with respect to x of a to the x is going to be ln a times a to the x. This gives us a general formula for the derivative of exponential functions.